So I'm super grateful that you want to see my videos. First thing we need is paper and we're gonna cut it into little pieces. So I just want to point it out that that paper you saw is very important because when you're painting this flower here, it needs this thick paper that is 300, 300 grams, like it's the best. And you can see over here, it's thick paper. And if you compare it to normal paper, you see the difference. So use good quality paper. Mm, we might need the wash this <laughs> palette. As you can see, there's wash color everywhere. First, I want to show you what it can look if you just paint without much thinking of it and not planning anything, just grabbing the brush and painting some petals here and there and not thinking about when I should add color or when I don't or when I shouldn't add colors. As you can see, I'm just tapping those colors here and there and also adding some brown here even though it should dry first but I will show you later how it is done correctly. It's also good if you test the color on paper as you can see here I'm testing it with too little of water and maybe a little too much sweet water and yeah you can see how the water and color are acting together but yeah here's the failed version here you see that color looks pretty okay here's maybe too much color and also there you saw that those brown and yellow were mixing together too much so that was a fail but let's fix those mistakes and start to paint the actual watercolor flower that is at least a little bit more correctly painted than the first one. Wet your brush very well so you can mix colors more easily together. I mix green and umber color together to get that earthy toned green and unfortunately I don't remember this name of this um, red color but you can mix brown and red together. For the middle part of the flower use burnt umber and yellow okra. Do not skip this part, the sketching part, because it's important. You can make just a loose sketch or very simple, like mostly it's the better. It's better if you use very simple sketch, because the painting is the main thing, not the sketch. Otherwise you would be doing some drawings. But of course you can mix drawing and painting together, but not in this case, in this video we're just gonna sketch and then paint. You will thank me later because when you sketch you will know where you can add the color. So less stress and you don't always have to learn things the hard way. So sketch this round shape which is the flower, but it doesn't look like it at this point, and also a couple of stems. And inside of the bigger round shape you can sketch a little ball, and that helps you to create the shape of the flower. And then you're gonna know where to add paint, and yeah. And let's make this stem a little bit thicker, also these little ones too. And then we're just gonna sketch two very simple leaves. And we're gonna make this end of the leaves more pointy here. So it's more natural then. Use eraser to fade those sketches a little bit. Now we can start to paint the artwork. Itself. So let's start to paint this flower with very light shade of pink. As you saw, the color we use is quite red, but use water to create this very 
light shade of pink because it's the first layer so yeah with watercolors we're gonna start with lighter shade and when it's still wet you can add that darker shade of red i'm just gonna tap it here and there so it will flow there very smoothly and when it comes to leaves, I'm just gonna use a very light shade of green and again use enough of water to create this lighter shade of green. And when it's still wet, you can add some darker shade of green, but in this case it was already a little bit too dried, so that's why I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in that case. As you can see here, then I'm just gonna use a damp brush and smooth those lines. You might think where I'm tapping my brush here, I'm tapping it on paper towel. Now we can paint the stem with light shade of green. I'm using it from the edge of the color plot so it's gonna be more lighter that way. When the first layer is dry I'm gonna add this darker shade of green and blend it downwards. I recommend you to use some scrap paper or the same paper you use when you are painting the actual artwork if you want to check how how's the watercolor ratio. So this technique I'm using now is a little bit different than the wet on wet technique but you can paint the whole flower with the same technique you saw first what I did on that first petal of this flower. Now I started to add some shadows on this petal and I used this just this red color but darker shade of, of it. I also added some shadows on this on this leaf and also wanes with the tip of the brush very gently and carefully and then some shadows here and there on this stem and then some darker shade of green on these little stems too now it's the time for the middle part of the flower but then i failed many times you can fix mistakes. When the paint is still wet, it's easier to use some clear water and brush and scrub it just a little bit and then you can tap, tap the color with paper towel or regular towel. Let's get back to this painting. So I'm adding some shadows here and there and I use this darker shade of red. If you want that you can actually see those shadows, you need to use a little bit darker shade of red. So here it is already and maybe you can see some differences between those flowers. So let me know in the comments what did you think about this video or what was the most helpful tip you learned from this video and it's so lovely to see that people have followed me or subscribed my channel like all this time let me check i have had um in the past year i have had over a thousand new subscribers and i haven't posted new videos in that time so i'm super grateful that you want to see my videos i'm really happy if you feel like my videos are good but i hope that we'll see you again and let me hear about you in the comments thank you so much for being here i will be posting videos again now so that's something to wait for so thank you for watching this video too and let's see in the next video bye bye